Okay, here's what we should do. We should all get drinks and then fight fantasy animal creatures in a boxing ring. Hey everybody, this is Sean K and today I want to uh, weigh in with my opinion on Beast Boxing Turbo in my uh, first impressions video on said game. Um, so yeah, what uh, Beast Boxing Turbo actually is, it is sort of like, think of uh, a Punch-Out or like a Punch-Out clone um, with like, aesthetically speaking, like a Xeno Clash vibe to it, although, uh, you know, the, the fight me mechanics are totally different, uh, you know, and thrown in for good measure maybe like an RPG style, um, stat system that for some reason reminds me of Speedball 2 by the Bitmap Brothers and I have no clue why but it's like a generic you know current like a lot of indie games actually feature that you know you can uh, increase you can level up increase certain skills and stuff like that uh, without further ado though let's continue here um to get this is like our next fight and the, like the backstory of the game is actually pretty um, pretty easy like we are a uh, human a female human that uh, wants to make her way in the uh, yeah beast animal fantasy boxing league and we're the first human to do so so we have to and this is our disguise we like uh, you know disguise has uh, as a goblin or something like that you know, in order to uh, not draw any attention to the fact that we're human. Um, yeah. So, let's... Um, and I've, I've actually prayed like for a little while here. I think uh, like an hour, a little more maybe. And I'm actually... Um, I'm ranked third in the Pro League now. I'm going to talk about that a little later. Uh, but first, like to display the, the game mechanics, let me uh, find an exhibition match, which we can do. Um, and let's... Uh, pick Pickles as our opponent here because this is I, I'm assuming that those are like all the opponents that we will um, encounter so far I've beaten four which is okay and Pickles is our first opponent and he uh, later also will become our our manager slash coach all right um, so how this works is actually pretty simple you move around the ring with the arrow keys and then with uh, X and Z like you throw punches like X you know is uh, like a right jab and Z uh, look at that is a left jab uh, in addition to that we can um, like throw hooks oh, that was not a hook Jeez. By simply moving, yeah, like so, or, um, you know, you got, well, uppercuts and stuff, there you go. And now I've, like, my range meter is filled up, which means that, um, my, uh, power bar won't decrease. And let me just talk about this for a second, let me pause the game here. This is pretty self-explanatory. Those are the health bars, as soon as that reaches zero, you're, you know, going down. Um... The red part of the health bar is uh, the part where your health does not, uh, you know, um, go back to. Like, you regenerate health by evading uh, enemy punches, and you know, once um, you like this uh, red bar here has uh, established itself, you know, on your total health meter, you can only regain, you know, so much health here. Then the power bar obviously uh, determines how powerful your punches are. The more you punch, the lower it gets and you can regenerate it by simply um, dodging the enemy. And then the, the rage meter here um, fills up by throwing, like connecting successful punches and once it uh, is full then you are on fire like just witnessed. Okay, let's resume here. And then in addition to that I think you can throw uh, like special punches. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is, this is no match for me. And down he goes! Boom! Yeah, notice the, uh, like, cell... The cell-shaded graphics here. I really like that, you know, especially, like, if you are... Oh, let's... 
We can also block enemy attacks. Yeah, that was not so smart. We can also block enemy attacks. That will um, cost us power, though. Let's get, like, let's go for some uppercuts here. Okay. Man, he should go down soon, I hope at least. I should be so reckless with my uh, my punches because once the um... nice nice uppercut okay and that's it so you know that's uh... beast boxing turbo I don't really know where the turbo comes from although it's pretty fast paced um, so that's that's that and then you can um, upgrade your character either by um, you know, increasing the uh, stats here, the characteristics as they're called, or by uh, buying equipment. Uh, so, for example, um, I don't know, like, can we buy anything actually? There's like certain types of stuff that we can buy. There's totems that go right here, like shoulder armor, armbands, which we have here, chest armor, I guess, pants, and gloves. Let's check out pants. The thing is, I'm really, I'm going for speed in this game. Actually, in most fighting games. Um, but those will all... Yeah, minus 5% in health. And I don't have that kind of money. I got like $500 here. So, But, you know, you get you get just of it. Like, I don't know, can we buy anything else? Gloves, maybe? Oh, we already have those gloves. Well, it's like you can see that those change. And actually... Um, they uh, also change in the game, so you will notice that um, next time we'll be fighting with, with those gloves. And we can improve our skills, I think that we can we can do. Um, let's up our uh, power. I want to be able to punch more, actually. Uh, let's, let's go all the way here. And then speed. Okay, perfect. Right, and so yeah, that's basically uh, the game in a nutshell. Um, this has been an iOS port. Let's let's uh, go to the Pro League here, where uh, they don't pull any punches. And um, so this game is actually an iOS port, where it was called uh, Beast Boxing 3D, I guess. Um, yeah, you get like this little like uh, intro here. Oh yeah, there he is. Now our coach with the fedora and shit. <laughs> Right, so this is like, you know, where the gloves are coming off, actually. Okay. What I'm trying to do here is like... Okay, like... Apply punches to the face. This guy's actually good. The good thing also is that... Like, enemies... Or opponents... Become not only more, uh, more difficult, but you actually need to change your strategy. Uh, as, you know, obviously... Dude, I'm... This is only the fifth, the fifth opponent out of twelve. So, I'm assuming there's like, I mean, simply because it's it's getting really difficult. Okay, s fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee, and now we're on fire. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, and duck, 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 go back. Ooh, Parvelis. Like if he, okay, this guy is like a whole different weight category. Get it? Okay, yeah. I overdid it. He's doing something there. Okay. Nice time. I should work on my timing, really, because um, what I'm still doing at this point is basically just move around and then, you know, try to, like, jab at my opponent. So that was crap. Uh, yeah. Thanks for schooling me here, Birdman. Okay, yeah, guard up, but... The, that's not my fighting style, man. I'm not gonna change the difficulty, so that's that's totally out of the question. But now I have like four hundred um, uh, dollars or coins or whatever, so you know we're able to actually um, increase our stats here to uh, get a better chance at Harvellus. Um, so yeah, like I said, this has been an iOS port, and you know if you uh, canvas opinion among PC players, um, usually the 
you know, the basic uh, tenor is that, you know, screw that, iOS games, they don't deserve to be on the PC. Uh, and I usually tend to agree with that. Although, I have to say that uh, Beastboxing does a lot of stuff right, actually. Um, let's actually try again, and I try to talk over this while um, giving my opinion on the game. I mean, this is obviously nothing, you know, to get hooked on. <laughs> But, um, it's good for a quick fix, like, it plays very, it plays very fast, it's a very quick game, and, um, you know, it's like the right thing for a, for a quick fix, really. Um, you know, start it up, throw a couple of punches here, and duck out of it, throw some more, and now we are on fire, I guess. Let's go for the uppercut here, nice, okay, duck and go back. Wow. Punch, punch, punch. Shit. He has like a really mean and really quick jab here. Nice. Uppercut. Boom. And that that was it. That's our Oh not not really. Wow. We're not doing that bad actually. Punch 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 and go back. Punch 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 and go out of here. Out of his zone. Yeah. And uppercut, uppercut. Ah shit, that was bullshit. I should have connected all the punches. Instead of I wasn't really aware. Ah damn. We're just not that bad! I would say that our victory was actually right around the corner. <laughs> but then, I was at the end of my rope. Get it? I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. Let's ring some changes and try to change our fighting style. Maybe like, you know, duck more and then punch. The thing is, if you block the punches, your power bar decreases as as he punches you. Plus, you also lose some health. It's not that much, though. But still, you know, it counts. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Cool. That was cool. We are, like, connecting some really cool punches. Here. Okay, go back here. Brutal combo was good. Go back. Power bar. Ah! We're not doing that bad, actually. So yeah, the good thing, like, uh, you know, it's good to see that actually you need to develop a strategy to beat those opponents, which I really like. Maybe this one is just specifically or especially hard. Uh, I have no clue. Now it's going to ask me again to uh, change down the difficulty, which I'm not going to do, obviously. Um, I'm too proud to that, uh, for that, um, to do that, actually. So yeah, um... This is a recommendation for me. I mean, the asking price, uh, and that's the thing, for um, for Beast Boxing Turbo is $4.99. And I have to be honest with you, this is, I think, the maximum that I would pay for that kind of game. If you're a fan of, like, the Punch-Out series or uh, any other boxing game that is, you know, sort of similar, because it, it's, it does a good job. Like, it mixes stuff up, uh, the backstory is okay, um, this whole fantasy setting works, I guess. It's a lot more interesting than just, like, punching random dudes, I think, or regular boxers. Um, it looks nice, definitely. So, uh, you know, like I said, it, it does a lot of stuff right. $4.99. I think the app on the in the iStore is $2.99, which is okay. I can't really comment on the quality of that one, because, um, you know, screw iPhones. <laughs> right, guys? Android all the way. No, seriously, though. Um, I, I have no clue. Uh, you might want to look into that as well, like if you own uh, like a, an, an iPhone or a similar device like an iPad. I will post the links in the description as always. Um, so yeah, that was it for me, Beast Boxing Turbo. Hope you enjoyed the video, um, and I hope to see you soon on my channel. Thanks a lot. Oh, there's one more thing I want to say to the developers. Hey, makers of the game, thanks a lot. Okay, that was, that was really, that was the worst one. Okay. Bye, guys.